So what is our business, Suresh? Business? Yeah. I wouldn't like to use the word business. No, but... What is can... my, my role or responsibility or my commitment? I would like to use that word. word business is yes. kind of a, a, a little bit word. colored, ah. a dirty words, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, but I think our business is to inspire. Yes. Actually, okay. right? Can we agree on that? Yes, I would love, love to share my passion and inspiration with everybody. Exactly, yes. and your experience. Definitely. Just as Definitely. I want. Yeah. And we want you guys to be inspired in the fact that we can take responsibility for our health in our own hands. What yes. do we need, Suresh, to do this? What do we for need? The people? We have to make a lot of uh, rethinking about mm -hmm. ourselves. How we have been brought up. What are we looking for? What are our values? Mm -hmm. Are we looking for eternal peace? Yeah. Or some kind of a dynamic social interaction. So we need to actually to start with some philosophy, life philosophy, in yeah, a way. Definitely, right? definitely. And then we have to bring some physiology, knowledge of physiology. Because we are, our life, we, we, we hear so many misconceptions definitely. about human physiology, right? Mm -hmm. You as a researcher, mm. as a scientist, have you ever met people having misconception about human health? Oh, a lot of misconceptions. Usually the misconceptions are that everything is already programmed. Mm -hmm. Everything is predetermined. Mm -hmm. yeah? As if you cannot do anything in life. Yeah, that, that is also true to some level. That yes, genetics mm -hmm. and genes mm -hmm. play a role. But our life is a very complex situation where there are so many variables mm -hmm. that not everything can be under control. So it's a kind of a, uh, we have a word that's called fate, you know, and you are yes. working with longevity, you're working with the signs of aging, mm -hmm. right? So people are very, very often prone to use this word fate mm -hmm. because they have some kind of particular genes and things like that. But the truth is that in order to make those genes to express themselves, mm -hmm. right, you need to do something actively, right? All right. Genes need an environment. Yeah. I have an equation called E equals GMC squared. Mm -hmm. That you need genes, but then you need M, the milieu, the environment in which these genes unfold. Yeah, exactly. I cannot keep one kilo genes in the hand and they will start doing miracle. And that's, so, the, mm -hmm. and that's actually um, the whole idea that in order to make, to make, to kind of a force genes to express themselves. And we have very, very different, different genotypes, different sets of genes, all of us. But in order to, uh, you know, get the asthma that people said, oh, you have asthma in your family, oh, you have diabetes in your family, oh, you have heart disease in your family, we need to actually actively support the expression of the genes by choosing some lifestyle. And those, those stressors you are actually working with mm. very much, right? Yes. Uh, influencing genes, again, we must understand also the limitations. We should not expect that anything can be done because genetics is the result of hundreds of millions of years But of you say 25%? No, but the thing is, to what extent? Yeah, this is called epigenetics basically. Yeah. So there is genetics, epigenetics can modify some things, but you cannot do like if I am a short statured person with Indian genetic background, that's controlled by my genes. Mm -hmm. Now, whatever I exactly. do, I am not going to become a tall so basketball player. So we need player. to know what to change, right? Exactly. That's what exactly. I was trying exactly. to say. So, so uh, what Suresh is actually mm -hmm. saying in his teachings, and he's a biogerontologist, and it's a very, very interesting science. There's a lot of interesting research. And what we want in our course, mm -hmm. 50 weeks course, we want to bring the knowledge mm -hmm. from both biogerontology um, that Suresh is working, I'm working with connecting, you know, breathing, nutrition, um, um, physical movement, the areas that we actually can change. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what, what we were going to cooperate on, uh, Suresh knowledge about our genes, about what is actually possible mm -hmm. to do through lifestyle. And I'm a practical kind of guy. I'm just mm -hmm. a, you know, integrative engineer, which it means that uh, I'm, uh, inspiring you guys with some practical ways of implementing these possibilities of changing 
the, actually the environment our genes lives in into your life so we can reverse the sickness we can be ready to a long healthy aging and uh, but we must do that at least I would like to do that within the limitations of the knowledge gained so far we can think in the future fantastic new possibilities mm. but we also have to deal with what is possible now I have the genes which exactly. if given the proper condition can give me the wings again mm. <gasps> yeah Everybody has those genes, but those genes evolution has suppressed. So mm -hmm. we, I will never promise that by some kind of lifestyle you will start play, uh, flying again. That's an interesting So we have to be thought. realistic, yeah. but futuristic with mm -hmm. imagination. Mm -hmm. So that is the uh, science teaches you a lot of uh, self-control and discipline also. Mm -hmm. That is how when scientists talk who have maximum knowledge, but they talk about something, yes, it will work, but not this, not if and that. The people who are always sure about something, they are least knowledgeable actually. Because they are sure, scientist is never sure. Although he has the maximum knowledge, but that is the way our system works. Exactly. We must accept our limitations. And that's what I want to collaborate with you in keeping in provide or sharing the knowledge gained by thousands of scientists in the last 50 years, giving as a just knowledge, and then let's see where your imagination goes and where do we come together. So exactly what you were actually talking about, if I hear right, you're talking about awareness. First step is awareness. First step is awareness. Awareness, knowing about what is happening, why it is happening, and what we so want. So we are adopting actually some new ways of understanding things. Adopt, yeah. adapt, Adapt. You remember that yeah, one? These are your three very <laughs> nice tongue twisters. Adopt, adapt, adapt. Adopt, adapt, adapt. Come on, come on, come on. Adopt, adapt, adapt, adopt, adapt, adapt, adopt, adapt, adapt, adopt, adapt. I can only play drums with that. <laughs> okay. Adopt, adapt, adapt. Adopt meaning that we are. Take we, the new knowledge. Exactly. Become knowledgeable. And bring it into your life yeah. and change accordingly. Adapt and being that. A, become aware uh, yes. of possibilities Possibility. and of limitations. Yep. Very important. Limitations are the principle of progress. Okay. If, so adapting. Yeah. When we start adapting, we start doing something, I mean, practical. We start to practice, yes, right? Yes, that's true. We start acquiring all of those things into our lifestyle, into mm. the processes we have every day, right? Yes. That's adopt, uh, adapt. Right, and then we'll be adapt on living. We'll become perfect on living, and I will tell you the secret of how to live forever, immortal, if you want to become. Wow, well, I will. Tell me. Not today. <laughs> Not today. You have to uh, go through. So we have to become adept, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, in order okay. to ac get this one, we have to become... Adapt. Adapt in the, those things. Okay, see you around. Okay, see you in the course. Yeah, okay. Hi.